Hello students, today we're going to be looking and reviewing up a past paper 2 question and this first question you can see in front of you here, question 6a is a bar chart. It shows you the speeds for five different activities. Now what this question really is looking for you to do is to see how you can interpret and understand visual data. In this case, the graph. All right, now you've got the five things, walking, driving, tennis, running and, and pitching a baseball. So what the first thing you need to do is on 6A1 is record the time for the slowest and the fastest activities. Now, it's one point for each one. Now, if you look at it, you can see, if you look at the time here, you can see walking on the far left here, um, which takes us, to, shows us it's 10 kilometers an hour. Now, if you look all the way on the other side here, you can see the one that says pitching a baseball, and that one is the fastest. Okay, because it's 100 kilometers an hour, and the, and the walking one is 10 kilometers an hour. So what that means you need to do for answer 6A1 is you need to write down um, what, the slowest, what the slowest one is, and what you need to say here is it's 10 kilometers per hour, because you're just reading across here for the slowest, and 100 kilometers an hour for the fastest. Okay. All right, so, but what you need to do with this is write down the units, 10 kilometers an hour and then 100 kilometers an hour. All right, okay, so that's 6A1 um, organized. Now, what we're looking at here as well for 6A2 is the average speed of the, of the three activities indicated. And what they've asked you to do here is write down the average speed for the walking, driving, and running activities. And what they want you to do here again is show all your working. Now what you need to write in here is you need to think of straight away is what is the equation that we use for the average speed. I think back to the three variables, distance, speed and time. They can be arranged. And um, what we have here is the average speed equals the distance divided by the time taken. So what we need to put on here for the walking one, which we can see, is um, average speed is 10 kilometers divided by one hour. So you've got 10 kilometers an hour there. Um, for the driving one, which is the, uh, the next activity we're looking at, if you look up at it, you can see that it's 80, and you divide that by one hour, so you get um, 80 kilometers an hour. And if you're looking at the running, which is the one here, or the, sec the second from the, from the far from, from the right, you can see that it's a, if you, re you read it off and it's 30 kilometers an hour. Um, so you have 30 then divided by 1, and so you have 30 kilometers an hour. All right, so for the walking, it's 10 kilometers. For driving, it's 80 kilometers. And for running, it's 30 kilometers. And again, you've got to write kilometers per hour in the units and show the working um, from the average speed. But you can show the working for all three just by writing down average speed equals distance divided by time taken, and you can, and you can read it off the um of the uh of the graph okay right then the next one um 6b2 6b1 sorry is asking you to calculate the work done um done by the pitcher after pitching a ball with a force of 30 newtons and a distance of 18.4 meters again you need to show all your working with this one, you can have the, you get again, it's another three variables that we've got here. We can have work done is the same as saying is the force times the distance gone, the, the, the distance of the, that the object has traveled. So in this equation, the force is 30 newtons and the distance is 18.4 meters. So what the work done then is 30 newtons times 18.4 meters. Now that gives us a number of 552, and the units is joules, symbol J. And you have to write down the units, and you have to write down um, um, the right number as well, otherwise you don't get the point. So the answer here is 552 joules. Okay, so um, the last three here are asking you really to, to, to think of the force. When you, if you throw a ball up in the air, You've got four, you're going to have several forces acting on it, aren't you? You're going to have the force of you throwing it. You're going to have the force of gravity pulling on it as well. Um, but once, as, it, as, it, as, as the ball loses the energy, uses the, force, loses the force of energy of you throwing it, 
is also going to encounter air resistance. So for um, 6B1, sorry, 6B2, the answer is air resistance. And for 6B3, name the force which causes the soles on a runner's tennis shoes and car tires to become smooth with repeated use. What's happening? It's the same thing. When you rub your hands together, you get that force. You think they get hot, your hands get really hot, don't they? So the answer for 6B3 is friction because it's the force of the shoe of, or, or the tire rubbing on two solid objects, rubbing, rubbing against each other, um, causes friction. All right? Now, the last one, 6B4, name the force which makes it possible to walk, run, and drive without drifting off into space. And the answer to that one is gravity. Okay, right. All of this, there is a, there's all various answer schemes for all of this. As I said, this is just one question. Um, there are more questions you can review where you can join the general science online forums and classes. Um, the complete answer keepers as well is also available for purchase too. Um, and the most important thing, then that's the question done, but the most important thing is keep studying, keep working hard, and good luck in your tests and exams.